looks like. Yeah, no, just can you sort of explain sort of where your head is at with your situation and kind of how you plan to proceed from here? Yeah, um, just to like the fans, man, it's like, I uh, just appreciate the support and love and, and you know, I mean, this is definitely it's a difficult time, but for me, it's just trusting, you know, uh, you know, people that you've known over a decade. Um, and, you know, when I got traded here, my, my whole thing was I wanted to retire a sixer. You know what I mean? Like, I wanted to be here and retire a sixer. And the front office didn't have that in their, in their future plans. You know what I mean? So, like, it's literally out of my control. Um, it's something that I, I didn't. I didn't want to happen in the system being in this position, but you know I, I got to make a, a decision for you know my family. I understand this is a business, you know what I mean. So it's just as simple as that, you know what I mean. I I come here today, I work work my butt off, and uh, I do do the things necessary as a professional as, as I would do and as I've been doing for 15 years. Thanks for that being being said. Um, say, well, do you still see yourself? Do you still want to get get traded? Uh, yeah, you gotta you gotta talk to the front office about that. But um, I just been here, you know, working my butt off, and and and, and you know, I love um, I love the game of basketball. So I'm just in the gym and, and putting the work in. That's all I can control. Is it difficult to be with your teammates, or can you just play the basketball when you're here and let the other stuff? Control what you can control. You know what I mean? Like I've been in this league so long, and I've seen so many different things to where. Like, I'm here putting work in, and that's all I can do. Like, I work my butt off. You can say whatever you want to say about me, but you don't get, you know, this far in this league without putting work in. And, you know what I mean? That's what I lean my hat on. So whenever when things fail or things don't go how you feel they should go, or you just continue to work, and that's it. James, at what point do you feel like the, the lines of communication were fractured and this trust was lost between you and the front Um... They were just, this, this me, me and front office had, and has had a very, very good relationship, you know, like I said, for a decade. So there was constant communication, you know what I mean? And there was no communication, you know what I mean, once we lost. So, so after the playoffs, you see that point, I mean, I guess, do you intend on playing on Monday or getting I'm still ramping up, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm still ramping up, trying to get myself in the best shape. I feel really, really good. You know what I mean? But uh, there's another level I feel like I can get to and that I w am going to get to. Uh, so uh, I'm sure there's, uh, I think, one more preseason game after that. So I'll still... Two now, but yeah. You know, after, oh, oh, yeah. Man. So I'll, I'll ramp it up and, 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 you know, try to play the last one just to get myself in game situations and get used to the physicality of, you know, defenders bumping you or whatnot, uh, and the speed, the tempo, all that good stuff. So um, I think we got a good plan in place. Okay, do you think that you and the, you said the front, you had a relationship for 10 years? Do you think this is something that can be repaired? I mean, could you no. think it, it can? And, and why? Why is it that? Why, why do you when think you, it can't when you, and it's not even, this is not even about this situation, this is in life. Like, when you lose trust in someone, you know what I mean? It's like a marriage. Like, you lose trust in someone, it's like hot, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, it's pretty simple. And to get what you want, which is move on from here at this point. Is your play going to determine how and who gets involved? What do you mean? Like playing games to be able to move. I mean, I, I, like I said, I can control what I control. I take it one day at a time and focus on, you know, every day is a new day. So, um, you know, my plan is to play basketball, yes, for sure. What, what made you, after not coming to media day and then missing that first practice in what made you then say, okay, now I do want to come and join the team? Like, how did that decision Well, it was, we, you know, it was discussions um, between my representation and the team. You know what I mean? So there's a plan in place. And then in order for me to practice, I had to go through physicals and things like that. So um, that's why I, didn't, I wasn't able to participate in, in, in the first practice. But with that being said, I mean, I guess like going through practice and things like that, like I've been picking up on nurses, like schools and styles and things like that. Great. Nick is, uh, is very versatile. Um, he's a player's coach, you know what I mean? Like, he's, he understands it. And, uh, I mean, thus far, just, you know, I've, I've known a little bit, you know, when he was a G League coach in Houston. Um, but this, you know, obviously, he's, he's won a championship, and he just sees the game different. And, you know, 
Yeah. I'm a fan of them. So what, was there any relationship that you still had before? No, nah, it wasn't a relationship. But just having conversations with him the last you know few weeks has been uh, has been impressive because just he knows the game of basketball, um, and so yeah. Where do you see the most difference between last year's system and Nick's system? I think it's more uh, more spacing, more opportunities for you know every everyone, um, and just unpredictable. You know what I mean? Like he's literally can change things up on the fly and. You know, things in, in, in one, five, six, seven possessions aren't going right, or in one quarter he can change it and, and, and make an adjustment, um, you know, which is it's very difficult to do, you know what I mean? But, you know, he's very, very good at that. James, your comments about, you've heard all what you've said about Darryl up to this point, I guess. Are there, do you have any issues just for clarity's sake with other people in the organization, or is this between you and Darryl specifically? Uh, this is between... This is a, this is a, <laughs> no, no, no. Man, what's going on with James is a travesty all in itself. A lot of people are blaming James. He's unhappy and all these different uh, aspects. But I think a lot of people are letting the 76ers off the hook here. And James just said a lot of things that people probably didn't know. He said he wanted to remain a 76er. But the organization don't feel that way. And they lied to James. They got him agree to a turn to terms that was favorable to them. But then they screwed over James Hart. Now he wants nothing to do with the organization. And basically Daryl Morley. Without saying Daryl's name this time. Well, Dell, for the last decade, has been one of the premier people who have had a lot of influence and getting things done and accomplished as far as general, being a general manager, as far as getting James Harden anything he wanted uh, when he was in Houston. You know, this is a guy he trusted. You know, when he left, the person he thanked the most was James Harden. And he did what he could do to help get James over to where he was, over there in, in Philly. So you would think this would be a marriage, like it's a partnership made in heaven. But then after all, you start to see the cracks in the ceiling. Once um, James start revealing some details that people didn't know is that after they lost in the playoffs, the communication was silent from a person who says talks to him all the time there was no communication whatsoever and then the betrayal was was coming so now he just wants out and the 76ers have no desire to trade him like nope we're gonna make him stick to what's going on here. So they're still doing an investigation into this to see if the 76ers violated, you know, any terms in letting go of James. But as you can see, he has a point. And that point is very valid. Now, if we continue to go with James's thoughts and his points, well, then that's going to open up some more boxes. So, there's a lot of things that uh, could be spoken on that hasn't. But I think only James Harden can, and Daryl Morley can explain and no more. But pretty much, they're going to have to blow this team up. It's going to happen. So, you better start getting prepared because 
Joel Embiid was the most valuable player of the league, and you got another player that wants to get away from him. But it's not about that. It's the organization he wants to get away from. And then your MVP can't understand why he can't get the help or the ownership can't get the guys in there to help win it. Like, why these guys keep wanting to leave? Now, there's a line they're going to have to come to to try to fix this. Like, they got to come to uh, understanding James is in camp doing what he's supposed to do. He's going to suit up to play. But don't expect James to play hard. If you're expecting that, then you're wasting your time. But James will show up and get his money. He's not going to let any of that go to waste. So James Harden is not willing to um, go to the Shanghai Sharks. <laughs> He's going to get the bag, believe me. You know, he got to go trick it off. So James is definitely going to uh, get the bag and secure that. Um, I think that James is at this point, um, he's older in age, winning a championship is not his desire more than it is taking care of his family and security and all this stuff. So he's made a lot of money. So it ain't like they are going to be eating happy meals or something if James don't play, uh, but he probably wants to secure the rest of his future and everything else. So I don't blame him for that. You know, people got to understand this is this is their lives. You know, and they live it. So they're probably doing what they see fit. And can't hate a man for that. I'm out.